She thought she was doing the right thing to protect her own finances when instead she was being taken by two scammers. A woman in Clearwater fell victim to a scam where she lost more than $100,000. Police say they've arrested the two men responsible but think there could be more victims out there. News Channel 8's Alessandra Young reports. It's a sad situation that could happen to anyone. Clearwater police say this victim lost more than $113,000 in this scheme. The investigators say that the suspects actually showed up to her house to get the money. A woman in her 70s picked up the phone one day and never expected what would happen. It wasn't the right choice. I don't know what happened to me. She asked that we do not show her face or share her name, but she ended up losing $113,760 to a scheme. It's tragic. I can't believe this still goes on today. Investigators say the scam began when an unidentified man pretended to be an agent with the U.S. Department of Treasury and told the victim her bank account was being attacked and that he would help her. Xin Sun and Wei Xing He are both charged with scheme to defraud for $50,000 or more. Police say they were the two men going to the victim's house, pressuring her to pay. Normally they'll try and do something that's more a little bit high-tech involved, you know, with a computer or making a deposit in an account or something. There were three different transactions one where they had the woman withdraw and deposit $17,760 into Bitcoin. There were two other instances where she was asked to withdraw tens of thousands of dollars and a so-called mule was sent to her house who gave her a secret code to get the money. The woman says she met them face to face. Only the mule, so to speak, the money mules. I never saw this guy's face I was talking to on the phone, never. Clearwater Police says this could happen to anyone and they have some helpful tips to protect yourself. Nobody from a government agency will ever call you and ask you for cash. Nobody from a government agency is going to come knock on your door. On August 8th, Clearwater Police say the two men made their last scheme against the woman. They went back to her second time, third time, and a fourth time seeking more money. Thankfully, on that fourth time, we were able to catch them red-handed and arrest them. Clearwater police detectives say they wouldn't be surprised if there are more victims out there. So if this situation sounds similar to you or, you know, you've been involved in another scheme, they're asking that you contact them immediately. In Clearwater, Alessandra Young, 8 on your side.